prepare to have your mind blown. And I mean it. I really, really mean it. Because in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the new AI tool, Chat GPT, and how it can have such a positive and remarkable effect on your retirement. Now, you may or may not have heard of Chat GPT in the news, but if you're saying, first of all, what is AI and what is chat GPT, let me just take a minute to explain. AI is artificial intelligence. It's like um, a computer or something talking to you. It's like a, a robot. Um, so that's sort of what AI is. I think of it as like Google, but on steroids times a million. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know what AI is, what chat GPT is, and how it can really make a difference in your retirement. I'm Maureen Dabransky. This is Life Starts at Retirement, where I produce a retirement lifestyle video every Monday morning. If you've been following this channel, you know that I just want everyone to have a remarkable retirement. That's my shtick. And so this new chat GPT could really help you in so many different ways. Let's begin by looking at it. So chat GPT is this new AI tool that you can kind of well talk to. It gives you answers, smart answers, that you could almost be having a conversation with another person that you're talking to. So in today's video, I thought I'd start by asking it a few question, questions about retirement and see how it does. So the first question I'm going to ask it is, how can I make my retirement remarkable? So I'm putting into the chat box, how can I make my retirement remarkable? And let's see what it says. We wait a few seconds and here it comes up with a whole ton of ideas from travel to hobbies, volunteering, spending time with friends and family. Oh my goodness, start a small business, consider working part time or starting an encore career, positive attitude, anything you can ask for. Wow, it sounds like everything I've been saying every single solitary week, but let's go further. So from all of those wonderful things to make your retirement remarkable, let's pick just one. What are some new hobbies that a retired person can do? So that's what I'm gonna ask it. So putting into the chat box, once again, what are some new hobbies that a retired person could do? And let's see what it comes up with. Here are a few ideas for new hobbies that a retirement could person could take up. Photography, gardening, oh cool, painting, drawing, cooking or baking, writing, oh my goodness, fitness and wellness, yoga, tai chi, music, learn how to play a musical instrument, genealogy, travel planning, ooh, that sounds like fun, volunteering giving back to the community, technology, learn all about the new technology. Once again, almost anything that you could ask for in automatically. Now, from there, I could ask it anything. Okay, can you show me some cooking classes that are available near me? Can you um, tell me how to bake certain things? What to do for baking? How to, how to um, clean my oven to get ready? What kind of spices that I would need? Any sorts of things. But for today, I want to find a new recipe that Ken and I can cook together that includes beef. So I'm going to ask it that. Please provide a... Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure why I say please to a machine, but I guess that's habits. Please provide a fun recipe that my husband and I can make together that includes beef. Hmm, let's see, I'm kind of excited. Here we go. Here's a recipe for beef and vegetable skewers that you and your husband can make together. Wow. Okay, so beef, peppers, onions, zucchini, eggplant, olive oil, and what do we do with this? Skewer soaked in water for 30 minutes. Now the instructions. Combine everything, put them all together. That would be fun for Ken and I to make, and I, I think it would be yummy. I think that's what we're gonna do the minute we get back to Arizona where it's a little bit warmer than minus 20 like it is today. Wow, that looks amazing and yummy. I think we're on it. 
crazy, like crazy how this works. Now, as you can see, anything you have ever wanted to know and more is here. You just need to ask and keep asking until you get what you're looking for. Now, this is all about keeping busy and making your retirement remarkable, but there's other big questions that you can ask it that I get asked all of the time. Like for example, how much money do I need to retire? Let's ask it. So let's ask it. So how much money do I need to retire? And let's see what it says, I'm curious. The amount of money that you need to retire depends on several factors, including your lifestyle, the cost of living in your area, and your retirement goals. Wow, that's what I say all the time. So let's see, That's this is just a general guideline of what you would need. It'll depend on your individual circumstances. It's important to create a retirement budget that takes into account all of your expenses, including housing, healthcare, travel, and leisure activities. So let's look at some of the factors that they consider. Your expected retirement age and life expectancy, how long you want to your retirement savings to last, how much you expect to receive from other income sources, how much you expect to spend, how much you have saved, the rate of return, the rate of inflation. It is actually taking into effect every single solitary thing that I would say to you as well. This is crazy. So it's also important to note that there is no single right answer to this question and it's hard to give a definite answer as a lot of these factors will change over time. Wow, perfect. Wow, all advice I would give and all advice that's relevant. So let's keep digging. How can I create a budget for retirement? Let's ask all about budgeting. So how can I create a budget for retirement? Creating a budget for retirement is an important step in ensuring that you have enough money to support your desired lifestyle during your golden years. Here are a few steps you can take to create your retirement budget. Determine your retirement income, estimate your expenses, You'll want to estimate your expenses during retirement. This may include housing, healthcare, food, entertainment, travel, anything else. Identify areas where you can reduce expenses. That's a good one. Make a plan to save and invest. Review and adjust your budget regularly as your retirement approaches. Yep, uh, consider consulting a financial advisor, absolutely. And it's important to keep in mind that creating a budget for retirement is an ongoing process and will require regular review. Wow, again, perfect. Yeah, like so it can go into anything, absolutely anything. Now I've been watching videos on investing and using chat GPT. Everything that I've seen has been absolutely incredible, but I'd have that conversation if I were you with your investment advisor and just see and see, compare maybe notes as to what they would recommend versus chat GPT. Things like, but things like, um, when should I take my CPP? How long will my money last? All those kinds of things. Talk to chat GPT and see what they say. You can literally ask it anything. Just ask and ask and ask and ask and have fun. So now when you're thinking, what can I do today? Or where can I travel to next? Or what can I make for supper? Or what card games are fun for four people? Or whatever your mind can think of, go to ChatGPT and ask it to make your retirement remarkable. I'm Maureen Dobranski. This is Life Starts at Retirement. Again, I produce a lifestyle retirement video every Monday morning. And please consider joining our Facebook group. It's growing. It's facebook.com slash groups slash Life Starts at Retirement.